Remember those wear your pajamas to school days? Oh God, man, I hated those, but that's basically what we have going on here today, except it's wear your best, fanciest paint job you got in your repertoire, and everyone has come decked out, bring in their A game. They understood the assignment, and so did Doc Hudson. The difference is all the cars you see in the background here, those are actually from video games, whether it be Cars Fast as Lightning or the original Cars video game for the King and Ramon. I thought, man, Doc Hudson just fits in with these, and unfortunately, Doc was not included in Cars Fast as Lightning, the mobile game, where a lot of these customs, a lot of the customs I get from Shane Cooper, who did this one, you know, we pull from that game a lot. And yeah, so much to talk about today, guys. Let's just dive right in. This custom is by Shane Cooper. Very excited to get into this year's batch. If you guys haven't really caught on, the last couple years we've done a large batch of customs. Like I think every year it grows and grows, but there's like 10 of them this year that I am so excited to review. Most of them are video game customs. We do have a couple bonus surprises like this one, which was one of his original works. So I am super excited to get into it. Now, Doc Hudson was in some of the original Cars video games, and he did have some cool paint jobs, but he was not in you know, some of the newest ones, like Cars Fast as Lightning. But if he was, I think this would be a paint job he would have. I mean, it just works. The black, the burgundy, the gold. God, it is just beautiful. I am so pumped to get into this review. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right down in. We're going to compare him to his, you know, regular counterpart and then also see how he shapes up with some of his bodies some of the radio springs townies best looks right all right so shane used a thailand version of doc hudson here which you know it's gonna be fun to see thailand cars with good quality decals like some of these it's just it's weird to me i look at his customs i see okay made in thailand but the decals are crystal clear it's like well how does that happen it's impossible for thailand to have good decals oh wait it's possible because it's a custom literally shane cooper wiped off those old crusty decals and put on his own and that just goes to show if you know someone can do it from home then Mattel absolutely could do it, even though it's on a much larger scale. That's a topic for another day. But yeah, the expression is actually kind of reminiscent of when he looks up at the stoplight or the flashing yellow light in the first Cars movie. Once everyone you know is dispersed from Radio Springs, McQueen is gone, and he's kind of feeling a little bit remorseful. But yeah, I love the gold that Shane Cooper swapped out the chrome for. Of course, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you do, but... Doc Hudson has a chrome grill and that is a part of his base. One of the you know, few cars where their grill is a part of the base. So that is all gold now, which looks absolutely incredible. In fact, I will say here N13A. So this is kind of an older Thailand version of Doc Hudson. It's actually super interesting how he did the rivets. Of course, in order to do these customs, you have to drill out the rivets in order to take apart the car. And a lot of customizers go about different ways to reassemble the car so that doesn't fall apart. I don't know what Shane Cooper did here. It looks like he put some sort of like amber gel in there. I mean, it looks awesome. It's working. I just, I've never really seen that before. You do have the Hudson Hornet trademark because this is one of, I wouldn't say the few, but it is, you know, one of the real car models that. Not only Disney and Pixar use in the movies, but also Mattel is made. Like there's a lot in Cars 2, for example, Mustangs and Mercedes that Mattel is not touched with a 10 foot stick. They did Brent Mustang Burger for the Mustangs, and they were like, "Yep, we're done. No need to pay those royalties, and we're not even going to touch any of those Mercedes. We're going to do all these trunk ups that are fictional models, and we don't have to pay a dime to a third party." Anywho, yes, sir. We got. There's a little red emblem there on the tip of the grill. Really nice shiny rims. I think Thailand and Vietnam do a good job with Doc Hudson's wheels. The white wall looks good. And also the silver hubcap there in the center. And instead of having just one color, he is now two-tone, which is very reminiscent of how Flo usually looks. Of course, Flo has the turquoise and then kind of like a creamy white greenish creamy white on her sides and instead 
of that, you know, Doc Hudson's got a nice burgundy, kind of like a maroon, orangish red going on here. It looks really good. It's one of my favorite colors I've seen on a die cast in a while. Like in some lights, it looks more red, and then some lights, it looks more orange. It's just a really good shade of red. And he did even do the Hudson Hornet emblem there in gold. A couple gold detailings here the side view mirrors and the door handles. And on the back here as well. Same thing on this side, looking really just crispy. Just a great paint job, especially when you didn't have anything to go off of. You know, at the end of the day, it's a lot harder to come up with an original design like this when you don't have anything to go off of and to kind of be creative and think about, oh, let's do Doc in a two-tone like this. Like, I love it. It wouldn't have been my first thought for sure but it 100% works just based on the lining of the car here. Like it just makes sense for him to be in a two-tone. Like you could see this line right here in the middle of his body. Oh man, it's just taking candy from a baby. Make that two-tone and bam, you're in business. So really, really love this. And the black is also kind of like a spectra flame. It's got a little bit of a sparkle in it. Just looks really good all around one of my new favorite customs, even though it isn't based on a video game custom, which is you know a lot of what I get. A lot of the customs I commission, I go out on my way for, are customs that either you know are of characters that appear in the movie that Mattel hasn't done, or they're paint jobs of video game characters, etc. I'm just super big on like expanding the Cars universe that way. Like I get some stuff that is just completely out there. Like I've gotten a Halloween McQueen or you know I've gotten like a purple McQueen and this kind of falls into that category I guess but I could have totally seen this as like a video game version of Doc Hudson so yeah I do have the Vietnam version of Doc here to compare him to you know one reason why I do like this expression although some people might not I can understand that it's just different from what we're used to and because there haven't been that many Doc Hudson's released over the years but we all we just kind of get the same expression with Doc. You know, his eyes are just, you know, kind of centered there in the middle and they're gazing outward. With this, you know, they're a little bit tighter and they're looking up. I like that. Like, I would love to see Doc Hudson looking one way or the other as well. I think that would just be, it would honestly make the world shake to have Doc Hudson with a completely different expression. But yeah, I mean, even we kind of got a taste of it with the D100 Doc ever so slightly with a little bit of a different eye movement there and almost looks like his mouth slightly open there with the grill. But yeah, Doc just does not get enough love. Such a cool character, such a great model. You know, the 1951 Hudson Hornets would love to see more from him. But I mean, they kind of have exhausted everything they could do. They've done most of the variants that appear in the movies and they released, you know, regular Doc a lot. They release fabulous Hudson Hornet Doc Hudson here a lot as well. Now they do the dirt track, fabulous Hudson Hornet. A couple years ago, they did the Doc with the tire on his hood in 2020. That was a pretty cool release. I never found that one in a store though. Fun fact, I actually, I usually find almost everything, every single in a store at some point. And this year, as in terms of 2023, actually, looking back on last year now, kind of crazy, that's 2024, still fully not accepted it. But trying to think if I haven't found any singles, I have not found Crypto Buster Mater in a store. I have not found Misty Motocrass in a store. But other than that, I honestly do think I have been lucky enough to find everything else. I did end up finding West Flanapis and Quad Torquesar at a Meyer, so I got lucky. Otherwise, I definitely would not have found those. And then here's the Chinese regular Doc Hudson I just wanted to show you guys. I don't have, like I said, a Thailand version of Doc Loose. I have this Vietnam version from one of the Welcome to Raider Springs five packs or four packs from Target, whatever it was. But yeah, I just have not gone around to opening up a Thailand Doc, and I really have no rush to do so. Like, I have enough things open that I have to put in the storage anyways. Like if you guys have noticed, a lot of my Thailand variants go onto the table here and kind of become part of the liveliness of the town. Like, you know, you can see there's a DJ, which I think is Vietnam. There's a sheriff over there. There's a Fimic missile. There's an Otis over here. There's a Sally over on the far right. So yeah, 
And of course, this Vietnam version goes right in there with his clinic. All right, so how does he compare with some of these other customs? Like we have Femme Fatale Flow here, who kind of has a similar paint job, similar color palette for sure with the black and the kind of burnt orangish red. They look awesome together. Like this would be a sick two pack. Kind of reminds me of the mini adventures. You know, when I say this would be a sick two pack, you think, Mr. Docket, ain't no way this two pack would ever become a reality. And you're right, it would never, right? You have a video game paint job and then you have a completely original fan made paint job. But that's basically what the mini adventures were back in the day in 2008 and 2009. I mean, you got some wacko paint jobs, like what the hell, like head scratching paint jobs. And they were great, like a pink dock, a purple film or stuff like that. You know, that's honestly, it's really such a forlorn, underrated little mini sideline that they did. Unfortunately, it died out, but they were really cool, even though they were plastic. But I mean, they did some great paint jobs in that line, along with some actual just like regular releases. Like you got Eugene Karbareski. Can you believe that? At least I think you did. I think they did him and Todd Marcus in a two-pack, yeah. Yes, they did, 100%. I have it. I have it on display, like, above me, 10 feet away from me. So, yeah, these actually look great together because you can kind of see that Shane Cooper did do the similar two-tone on flow here with the maroon there and then the black. I honestly would not be 100% surprised if after Shane Cooper did Femme Fatale Flow, which I commissioned him for, he then made Doc here kind of with the same color, same paints that he had for Flow. I know that the color down here isn't the same, but the black definitely is. Yeah, it could be. You know, he was like, oh, well, hmm, what if I did that to Doc and then put him, put some gold on him? It's like, oh, that sounds good to me. Speaking of gold, what about Stay Gold DJ here? One that we did last year from cars fast as lightning guys after this wave that is you know you're going to be seeing in 2024 there is not going to be much left to do from cars fast as lightning there are some paint jobs that i really don't like in that game though <laughs> that i'm not going to commission i don't like the holly Shiftwell as the police car i don't know i just i don't really like that one at all i just think it just looks a little bit tacky so i don't think i'll do that one there's a cool Fimic missile I want to do, so I'll just, I guess, spoil that there is not a Fimic missile in this batch. But, of course, there are the older video games to pull from, which the King here and that Ramon are from. So, there's still plenty of potential. And I will also say there is a paint job. There is a custom from the original Cars video game. So, I have already started dipping into that. I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to bring our childhood dreams to reality here by you know when i was a kid and playing these games like all i could think about when i went to the store as a naive seven eight year old was i would love to find count spatula in the store now will i be able to ever commission a count spatula probably not but i can at least do some of these cool video game paint jobs that as a kid you know i didn't know how mattel worked and how really life worked right so i thought no, it's totally fair game to find some of these video game cars at a store. Why the heck not? You know, lo and behold, I knew that, you know, those were never going to be released and I was just being a goofy little kid, the hopeful, but I think it's kind of cute and it's kind of like, wow, you know, to bring that to reality, bring it to fruition after like 15 years, you know, it's like, well, maybe it's not so impossible as I, you know, kind of accepted in, you know, a few years ago, but now to be able to have customizers out there who will do these huge thanks to Shane Cooper, you know, with all these, not just this one, but everything you see in front of you was done by Shane Cooper. And a lot of these videos coming up here will be Shane Cooper's and he just does phenomenal work. And I love that he's so open to my ideas as well. I mean, these are not easy customs to make. They require a lot of decal work. I mean, not this one in particular, no decals, but some of these ones here, and maybe you can guess as to which they'll be, you know, there are some World Grand Prix racers in there. I'll say that and you can make a guess as to what they may be. All right, guys. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Big weekend. It's going to be a big 2024 Singles Case D weekend unboxing review. Ghost Tractor. I'll leave it at that. Bye now.